Welcome back to Multiplayer Survival, everybody. Hope you all are doing well today. And, yeah, we're back. We're just back. <laughs> but, seriously, today, we're starting to make a big step. And that is to finally get a place for the villagers. That I've been meaning to do for a long time. And, for one, I'm going to mainly move away from the Mega Village for now. I may get to that down the line, who knows. But, today, we're going to be starting work on the Cave Village. By no means are we going to get it done today, because this is going to be a big project. And if any of you know how villagers are... They're a pain in the butt. And also, I gotta move all of this. That's gonna be fun. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put it. And I also want to work on cleaning up the edges a little. Just so the villagers don't have as much trouble trying to find around here or somehow finding a way out. Which is mainly only that over there, which I've fixed that up. But other than that, I'm trying to get grass up to the corner here. Get all these just changed. I'll do more fine adjustments later. So yeah, let's get the grass right quick. I also want to bring to y'all's attention some reasons why multiplayer survival has been a little slow here lately. For one, it's because of the new plan. And that is to get more stuff done per episode. Have this multiplayer survival series be more of a fast pace and maybe some big projects. Even though that ain't really my specialty. My specialty is getting a, a little bit done here and there and taking it slow. But anyways, time for some updates of more reasons why it's been slow. And that is I've actually changed this room a lot around a little bit. New table. And new um, map walls of like project areas and such. So we got Project Submerge. We'll be visiting that in a moment because there's been some big changes there. Main base. I don't think I need to explain that. And then you got the village base. Yeah, I don't really need to explain that one either. And now on to the second thing is the Mega River, which you actually probably saw in the time-lapse. But I did cut the time-lapse a little bit short. But either way, here it is. It now spreads all the way from up there, all the way to the dam now. And that was a lot of work. <laughs> that was a lot. And it still needs a little bit of trimming, because right through there just seems a little odd. And I can't, it, it's like, it's unsettling to me how it feels a little cramped through there, I think. Uh, rest in peace. And third thing, the major work we've been doing in front of the Project Submerge Dam. And I've also done some terraforming too. Because that's going to take a lot of work as well. So down here, you see a new stone brick path. Yes, that's all I have to show. I'm, I'm just kidding. So we're going to move on down through here. Eventually, I want to make this kind of a sort of... I don't know what you'd call it. It'd be some sort of a little mini river through here. I'm hoping I'll get set up. I might actually plug this and just make a big waterfall that comes down through here kind of like rapids or something and right here i actually want to break into this and make a river going from there to there should be pretty interesting maybe a little cove build for pirate stuff but anyways we come to where the major stuff has started and that's dense trees 
Yes. Not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and get it out. I've been binge watching a lot of Good Times with Scar's old videos of the original Scarland. And how that world is just so dense in trees. I've wanted to do that for so long. And I think I'm starting to get the hand of it. It's a tricky one to do for sure. But also putting my little twist on it and modernizing some things. And then you got a little river here. I'm actually very proud of this. It actually goes through there and then comes out down there. And then you see that mega terraforming right there too. That was a lot. I've done so much. I think I may be going insane. And I mean, this is all part of me saying this year, this year I want to be on top of things and not slack off. <laughs> but yeah, here you go. Doesn't that just look actually pretty good? And that's not finished yet. Honestly, a lot of this isn't finished yet, of course. This is only really just to test it. Because I didn't really know how to do it at first. So I did a little trial run to see how I could do it and all that stuff. Trial and errors and all that stuff. But it doesn't come without its downfalls though. We sadly had a loss. Old Smokey the horse has sadly perished. And it's a weird reason why too. So let me, let me go ahead and run y'all through this. So I came down here, brought the horse over from the main base, tested the path, put him down here because I was going to need him later to test the path again. And after building and getting all this stuff, I went down here, did a little click, and he disappeared. Just vanished without a trace. I looked high, I looked low, not that there's really much lower than I can go, because I don't know what's down below us, and I don't want to dig straight down to find out, but I didn't find him, so I just went on, built up some more, and started walking back through here. And I came this to this to start filling it up. As soon as I clicked, I teleported. And you'll never guess where I teleported. I teleported all the way over there. To the cactus farm right beside the gold farm. And I was under the horse in the ground. Smokey had teleported from here to there. But conveniently, our other horse is over there, Frostbite. And it was confusing, but you could fix it. By leaving and rejoining. But you couldn't go within 50 blocks of that area. Otherwise you teleport back to the horse. And it would cause me to suffocate in the ground. So I tried everything. Fully shutting down the game. Reloading. Didn't work once I got back in a radius. Uh, I tried getting. I tried actually killing myself to hopefully reset it. Thought it worked, but no, I got back in the radius and it teleported me. And in the end, I had to get Elk to kill it. Why do I keep on forgetting that you can put your camera through glass? This is still so weird. Very weird. But yes, he was killed. We just couldn't find any way. Other than taking him and shipping him off somewhere far in the distance that we may never go. And frankly, we go in many different distances. So probably like maybe 10 episodes in the future if I do an exploration or something. I'll randomly go across an area and get teleported again. Which I would not want. But we sought for the easiest option. And sadly... It was to just kill him. But we ain't just going to forget him. I do have a little graveyard plan build plan to do. 
Yeah, Frostbite's still down there, though. But I do want to make a graveyard project. For one, to count how many deaths I had. Which I think's up to, like, maybe... Maybe 20 to 30 by now. Mainly because me and Elk, we, we constantly kill each other. Mainly on accident. Mainly when I run out in front of him all willy-nilly and he strikes me and kills me. And then I figure out the name of his weapon each time. A very unique way to do it. <laughs> okay, well let's get back over there and finish. Well, not finish. We ain't gonna be doing much today. Because tight on time. Per se. So yeah, let's get back over there and get some of the grass placed in and plans done also i want to just say ignore these lines they're experiments right now and i almost guarantee this one's gonna disappear this one may be a sign for something coming i won't um talk about it too much though either way the only hint that i'll give is over in this area, we need to kind of make it down to this level. So it may be one of two things. Excavate that big area, or go for a different approach. Right now, the only approach that I need to get done is this. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I think I've done the first part of this. I've sort of messed up this front end, this front entrance a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit better. But either way, we've gotten some of the trim a little bit fixed up. It's not fully flat anymore. I've added little pieces here and there. Hopefully, they won't get in the way. Hopefully. And I think that's about all with that. So now, planning. So right back here, I kind of want a main structure. Kind of like the head of this little cave district. But I don't know who to give it to. So we have like a mending villager, a smite five villager. Maybe. Maybe we can make that sort of a vaulted door with a grand sort of entrance here and it be where we keep the be the big best villagers and then out here we have free roaming ones that you just trade with quite often mm, I'll have to workshop the idea a little bit though as for now that actually sounds pretty good How you doing, everybody? Smite 5. Mending. Feather falling. Quite a terrible feather falling trade. Name tag. I wonder what the second trade this guy has. Respiration 2. Thorns 3. And not to mention... The mending is one emerald. That... That one I've kept locked for a long time. I need to light that up down there. If you don't know... Well, yeah. Now you know. It's a giant cave down there. So, yeah. Probably need to fix that up. And just hope and pray somehow a villager doesn't glitch through the floor and fall to his death, or... Who knows? But yeah, thinking about it, I think I might do that secure high-end villager area over here. And just have this out here with houses, little farms, and all that stuff. So yeah, that's about all for today. Like I said, it was going to be a very short one. Because lots of stuff has been going on. I've been trying to fix the recorder to no avail. 
audio is still a little iffy here and there. I don't know why it keeps on picking up me breathing at certain points. Pick up all the other background audios. When clearly it shouldn't. So it's something buggy with this laptop. Because I can plug everything up with the other laptop and it worked perfectly fine. No iffy audio, no nothing. Just perfect. So yeah, that's kind of what's been taking up my time here lately and... Well, ain't gonna let it hurt me too much. So anyways, back on schedule. We're gonna keep on getting the work done. And yeah, stay safe everybody and see you all next time.